Hello everyone, welcome back to Farming Valley, episode number 9. And a lot of time has passed since we last left off. I've been doing a number of different things, mainly to get some more resources, um, get a little bit more gold in our pocket, um, you know, basically just kind of doing the monotonous stuff. And uh, I'll show you guys around and all the things that I've done real quick um, before we get to the farm today. As you guys can see, we are also level 30. And uh, I did I did find diamonds, but I've already found diamonds. I just managed to go through those achievements and finally get diamonds again to where it's like, oh, hey, there you go. So you can see these are our old tools here. We got our old diamond pick and axe there. And you can see I've already kind of worn down a lot more already. And I'm thinking we're going to do some enchanting. Cause here's all the redstone. I've been mining the redstone and coal like crazy. Anything I could find that would give me some experience or mining, I've been mining it, and I've been smelting up all the things that I could. We're going to go ahead and try a nice level 30 enchant on a brand new diamond pickaxe. Our very first. All right, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need some of, your, some of your luck. I need it. Let's see what we can do. What will you give me? Efficiency 4 is really not that bad. I'm actually okay with this. Normally, this is not by itself when you enchant. Now, we could get Enchanting Plus up and running, but the problem with that is we need to get that table from the cafe. So let's just go ahead and do this and hope for the best. Dang it. Wow, I say that and it just... I hate you. <laughs> oh, man, that's fine. I'll hold on to this because we may end up getting a pickaxe with just unbreaking on it, and then we can combine that together. So we'll just kind of hold that for now. There are more diamonds down there, and I was hoping for some... Um, Obvious luck, but no obvious luck here today. So we need to take care of our little friend in here. I don't think I've taken care of him today. Bloop. Actually, I did. Okay, cool. And he's given us plenty of eggs. Now, some people are saying we need to hatch those eggs. Well, that is the plan for today. Let's go ahead and... Actually, we'll get to the farm a little bit later. Let's go ahead and head to town. Talk to some of our friends. And see what we can actually pick up for today. As we have some money in our pockets and we still have some more coming in, summer is a great time for making money. I can tell you that for certain. So who we got here? Oh, this is their blacksmith friend here. Hello, Dineru. If I could visit any country, hmm, I'd probably visit... Uh, che Chexia with Ashley. Is that, is that how you say that? Did I butcher that? I think, I feel like I butchered it. Alright, so, um... Building the best buildings for you. Of course you do, Ulif. Of course you do. So there we go. We want to get Mining Hill up and running. And this is where we're actually going to be doing some mining. We're going to need to get a hammer as well from the blacksmith. So let's go grab that 32 stone that he wants. Oh my gosh. These people are magical, I can tell you right now. I've also added in some pathways, as you can see. I kind of like that. That looks not bad. I'm not really sure how we're going to connect the others just yet. I'm kind of holding off, but I know those are basically where I want them for certain. So I've cooked up some more stone. We have plenty of stone now. We only need 32 for this, so let's grab that. And uh, I did get some more wood. So I've been chopping down some spruce and some dark oak, uh, replanting our little forest over here. And it looks like it's ready to go again, but I'll do that a little bit later. Not right now. Not needed. And let's head back over to Yulof and see where we're going to put Mining Hill. Now, Mining Hill is going to be kind of similar, I think. We might put it somewhere else. Not necessarily next to the mine, but let's go ahead and do that, and then let's talk to Yulif one more time and just kind of get an idea. Does he show it? Oh, no. We have to actually build Mining Hill first. So this is Mining Hill, and this is a really cool little place. We'll say that. The reason why is because this is actually... Eh, well, I could put it over here. It wouldn't look horrible. Eh... I kind of feel like I want to put it somewhere else. Basically what it is, is a type of portal to another dimension. And I'll show you guys a little bit about that once we get this set up. I might put it out here away from everything. I kind of want it... <laughs> I kind of want it a little ways away from my other one. And I wouldn't mind putting it out here. Maybe we'll put it... Yeah, maybe we'll put it out here. Yeah, maybe some somewhere out here. May not be a bad idea. Kind of out of the way. Um, 
a little ways away from the other one. Yeah, let's do right there. All right, Yulif, get to work, my friend, and we can talk to him after he is done with that. We can get a little bit more XP hopefully soon as well, but let's see. We need to go talk to... I believe it is Ashley. Yulif, are you okay, man? You need to go get... Okay, good. He's working now. <laughs> Hi, Ashley. Hello. Most chicken handlers hate foxes. I love them. They're so funny like me. Yeah, you're, you're hilarious. You're closed today, aren't you? Monday through Saturday, 5 to 11. You just closed! I hate you! Dang it! <laughs> well, anyway. So I hope you guys have kind of enjoyed how I've been doing the episodes lately. I've been trying to take out some of the monotonous things of, like, you know, farming and all that stuff. So hopefully you guys are okay with that and all of the goodies that I'm, I've been trying to do for you. Um, we're going to go ahead and harvest this up. As you can see, we have a few pieces of corn that, I don't know, I've been finding corn to be a little glitchy. That it, it shows that it's like harvested and then it's not, maybe. And that's why I'm getting these that are just kind of like not being harvested. Or maybe I could have like looked like I watered them and then I didn't. I'm not sure. Um, I did check the video back the other day when I was harvesting those and I noticed that it was indeed not there. So it might have been just the fact that I possibly didn't water it so anyways what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna go ahead and go through oh yeah and by the way yeah I did get the industrial hemp I, I think you guys saw that already but um, I'm gonna go ahead and go through water this up put these in the shipping crate we'll be back in just a minute all right guys we're back and we actually got some crops ready to harvest we got some onions so I'm gonna go ahead and harvest these little guys right up actually I might end up keeping these uh, we're actually doing okay on money at the moment, so keeping them wouldn't be a bad idea because we could use these for cooking a little bit later. So what I might do is, let's go ahead and say, let's hold on to like 12. 12 should be enough to do some cooking with in the future. Uh, we can also eat them if we really want to, nice and raw. Oh, doesn't that just sound delicious? Some nice raw onions in the morning. Maybe not so much. But let's go ahead and grab some of our berries here, maybe, and kind of help reset a little bit of our hunger, which is normally what I end up doing with all of these berries. They're very useful in that sense. Um, and then I just kind of find with something that's got a little bit more hunger than anything, and then we can just start working on that. So there we go. It looks like uh, Yulif may be done with the mining area. Let's go ahead and take care of Mr. Jenkins this morning. We're almost actually out of chicken feed, but I will feed you. Oh, you actually eat. Okay, there you go. There you go, buddy. In fact, I'll leave the door open since it's a nice sunny day out. The way you actually have some uh, some air and all that good stuff. Okay, he's not actually done. He's still over there building. All right, so a few things we want to take a look at. Is first things first, we want to head over here, talk to Ashley again. I'm trying to. Let's see, make sure she's open. Hello, Ashley. Welcome to Cluckety Cluck Cluck's Chicken Camp. How may I help? All right. Well, that's good. We're going to need some more chicken feed. So let's go ahead and get some of that while we're here. Uh, let's do like 24 for now. And we'll buy some chicken treats as well because we love our little chicken friend. And let's also go ahead and grab another nest box and an incubator. That's right. Yep. We're going to be spending a little bit of money. Now, I think one feeding tray should be enough. We'll test that out for now and make sure that that is all good and... Uh, for a little bit later, but we'll we'll send up our incubator here in just a minute. Um, I also want to go talk to the blacksmith. If he's open, I hope he is. And I'm actually kind of curious about the uh, the mining guy because I don't remember what he has. Uh, males, female? Oh, males and female. Okay, I, <laughs> I thought it said hails. I'm like, what? Hails females? What? Uh, don't bother me. I like them all. Variety is the spice of life. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean. Whatever you like, man. Let's see if our miner is open as well. Hello, Brandon. Never understand why people are afraid of the dark. There's nothing better than mining without seeing where you're going. So, you, Do you actually sell anything? Selling goods, 11 a.m. Monday to Saturday. 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. So he's going to be open in a minute. He opens at 11, and he opens at 10. So he's about to open up. But, yeah, we need to start spending a little bit of our money so we can start progressing further and getting a lot of new stuff. I'm going to start pushing buttons in here, man. I'm just Don't mind me. I'm just going to push push these buttons. <laughs> need some tools? Step right up. All right. Sounds good to me. 
Um, oh, yeah, we need to get a cow, too. Ooh. Maybe we'll save that for a little bit later, though. Let's go ahead and grab a hammer. And let's actually grab an axe. Start working on leveling that up as well. Um, if we do get a cow, as you can see, we're going to not only need 5,000 gold, but we're going to need an additional 2,800. So it's going to be about, what, 7,800? That's going to put us well below 9,000 gold, which is a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. So we got that taken care of. Um, is Yulif done? Looks like he's not done yet. All right, let's come over this way a little bit. So, oh my gosh, there's a skeleton in there. <laughs> yes, fire, fire good. I hate you, skeleton. You and your googly eyes. Just burn and die already. Don't you, don't you shoot, you little butthole. All right, so once he's done, I'll show you guys basically how this, this whole thing works. Where'd my horse go? Oh. What are you doing? Get out of the water. I need to fill this in as well. I'm probably going to end up filling this in, getting rid of this uh, sand and replacing this with dirt soon. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, we got a lot of, like, little things over here that are just popping up all the time. See how bad that axe is? See how quickly, like, that's breaking compared to my diamond axe? <laughs> this is why we must level this up. So it has a 7 attack damage? Oh, and you can actually level these up. Okay, because it's, it's kind of like an uh, attack weapon as well. Kind of like a battle axe of sorts. Um, all right, so let's go talk to the miner here, Mr. Brandon. He should be open. I'm actually just curious to see what he has. Come and get your rare gems. Oh, okay. So we got the escape rope, which I'm actually going to go ahead and preemptively buy a couple of these. And I'll show you why in just a minute. So you get the mine floor, mine ladder. You got an iron drill head, which would be awesome to get into um, eventually. Possibly a mining backpack actually 25,000 that would be really nice to have though And uh, we also have things like dynamite safe dynamite or regular dynamite very neat All right, Brandon good to good to do business with you my friend Escape rope always good to have all right, so horse you need to quit wandering off I need to seriously I'm gonna have to get a lead made or something because I'm gonna start like attaching him to those um, fence posts Whenever I get a chance, because I'm so sick of it wandering off. But while uh, Yulif is finishing that up, let's go ahead and get into our chicken coop here. Bloop. And let's give our little Mr. Jenkins a friend. We're going to put an incubator right there in the middle. It doesn't matter where, where it really goes, honestly. But we're going to grab one of these large eggs that we were given early on, and we're going to place it inside the incubator. It's going to take a little while for this to actually work. Um, let's also go ahead and top off that. And we'll check to make sure that works soon and give our chicken little love there. And we'll put those away. So I'm kind of holding on to some of these eggs because I can also use these for um, cooking. So probably not a bad idea to hold on to that because we may end up needing some of that. But we can go ahead and throw these things away. Uh, not really worth a whole lot, but hey, money's money, right? We like to have what we have when we can get it. So Mr. Yulov should be done. The only downside, the reason why it takes him so long, I presume, is mainly because of, like, we need some food. I don't know why I'm so hungry. Um, the trees. The trees are probably, like, the bane of his existence over there. Alright, so let's go ahead and eat some of these berries just to kind of top ourselves off here. That should be good, and we'll hold on to those. Actually, do these all share the same? Oh, no, they don't. Good. Cool. Alright, you have... All right, so we're going to hold off here for just a few minutes. Wait for Yula to finish up what he's doing. We'll be back when he's done. See you guys back in just a second. All right, guys. Well, Yula, I don't know if he's done yet. I don't think he's actually done. I came over to check to see if there was a lead that maybe he sold, and then he gave me this little bit of dialogue here. I'm quite glad that you're, you've are you invited me here. I'm Jim, by the way. I run the Animal Ranch. As thanks, I have a spare cow for you. Wow. <laughs> Give me instructions on how to take care of cows, please. Is that so? Guess I better teach you then. The basics are easy. These bigger animals like to be fed and loved. They also need to be kept clean if you want to keep, uh, want them to stay healthy. Um, they like to be fed fodder, which you can feed them by hand for bonus or with a trough. To show your cows some love, just talk to them 
uh, by holding right click on them. Okay. Until they show you the love bank. Do you uh, do the same when brushing them? And, but, oh, okay, okay, whatever. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh, and he gave me a lead. Oh, all right, perfect. Horse? All right. So these are what cows look like. <laughs> they look a little derpy at times, but hey, it is what it is, right? I hope I can actually get this guy to fit in one of the pins. He seems kind of big. <laughs> Alright, so he, he gave me a lead, which is... I was, I was hoping he was actually going to sell those. So this is good. Alright, we're going to put him in the middle one. Come in here, buddy. There you go. There you go. Good man. Good man! Now, he gave me some fodder, but he didn't give me... Oh, he did give me a brush. Sweet! So you can see the little particles coming off of them, and now, the hearts. And there's some food for you, my friend. Very cool. We got ourselves our very first cow, and I wasn't even expecting it. And I do actually have an extra lead now. So we can actually lead our horse up to some of these fences without him worrying about running off. Now let's actually head back to Mr. Jim and see if he has anything else now for sale. And I don't, I'm kind of unsure why it, like... You know, didn't give this to me before. Looks like you know how to keep your cows happy. Cows will make you milk every day. To get milk, you'll need a milk, uh, to take a milker to them and hold right and click until you get what you desire. Remember, the friendlier you are with the animals, the bigger products they'll give you. Go and bring me some milk from your cow. Oh, he did give us a milker. Sweet. All right. Well, <laughs> Yulf is taking a sweet time building that over there, so let's head over this way. Let's go ahead and milk our. Our brand new cow friend. We're going to have to give some of these guys some names as well. So I might have to figure out what I'm going to do for that. But let's go ahead and milk our, our little cow here. Boop. And there we go. Moo moo milk. <laughs> yeah, how fitting. Oh, oh man, that takes durability. Oh man, that stinks. Not cool. Alright, so let's take this back to Jim. Okay, I want to say that is completed. Over there, I'm hoping. I still don't see Yulif over here, so. You've done a fine job there. I'll give you some additional advice. For one of your animals like to be outside when it's sunny and inside when it's rainy. And also, to breed your animals, just buy a miracle potion from me. I'll always impregnate your animals, and after a few days, they'll give birth to a baby. Who will have the relationship points of the parent? That's all for now. Please do come again. Oh, and he gave me three large milk as well and a food trough. Nice. Very nice of you. The world is ridiculous sometimes. Just the other day I saw a squirrel attack a bench. <laughs> All right, so he's not open, but we did get a nice, um, some nice gifts from him. So that is very nice. Yulif, are you not done with this thing yet, dude? Oh, he's just about done. I think he, yeah, he's just placing flowers now. All right, so while he's finishing up doing that, I'll show you guys the... The mining area here in just a second after we get back to our place here. So let's actually go ahead and do this. Because I'm all, probably going to go ahead and sell this uh, milk. Not really much need for it. Oh, I put the nest box in there? Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. I am so glad that that did not sell. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, good, 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 good. Alright, so this is going to, we're going to put this one right there for now. Take care of that while uh, while we're thinking about it. And I'm actually going to grab another chest. We're going to put a chest over there inside of our barn. Just like so. A little spruce chest. Never hurt nobody. There we go. Get our lead. He'll be fine here for just a minute. And let's put this chest right here for the moment. And we're going to place the food trough down right there. Put the fodder in there for him so it automatically feeds him, which is wonderful. And we'll go ahead and leave in that and that in here. So when we come in here every single day, we'll uh, make sure he's properly taken care of. One more responsibility in Moo Moo Farm. 
All right, so I do believe it is done, but before that, yeah, he's done. Okay, good. The sun is setting, so unfortunately, we're not going to have a lot of time to work on here, but let's go ahead and put our horse right here for now. And I'm going to show you guys this whole mining bit. So here it is. You see that little, well, cave entrance there? Yeah, that's because exactly what it is, it's a cave entrance. So right click on it? Yeah, I think you have to right click on it. Oh goodness. And you definitely want to make sure you put some torches down and bring some torches with you. Now, I think this all stays the same, and the things on the wall you can't really do anything with. What you're looking for are the things on the ground, and that's what you use your hammer for. Rough and ready. So we got some junk ore. And I will I will say I do believe your hammer kind of goes a little quick. But in order um, actually doing this, I do believe this may unlock upgrades from our blacksmith now. Because we have the ability of getting copper. And it's always good to break the rocks. So if you get a chance to break them, you can sell the junk ore. It doesn't really do anything else anyway. Um, but you also want to make sure you bring a plentiful amount of food. Because breaking things with a hammer, it does take some, uh, some food some hunger to do actually so um, but yeah and the further you go down <laughs> the crazier this is gonna get um, in the sense that there are gonna be some mobs that actually do spawn so you need to be very very careful but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and probably do a little bit of mining down here at some point and uh, just kind of do this myself um, I'm not really seeing too much good stuff I wonder, can you just right-click on them? No, okay. So you actually have to hold down and break them. And you might actually be able to... Uh, I don't know. You might be able to give him the junk ore. I don't think you can. I think you just sell it in your shipping crate. But I'm hoping we can start making our way down. We might be able to start seeing something. Normally, I like to place a, a torch down as soon as I land. And I try not to do too much in here because I think some of these the mobs that spawn in here pretty much just spawn regardless. Um... So I just kind of like to be able to have enough light just to see where everything is. So it looks like, yeah, this is starting to look a little different. Maybe not. Uh, but there are, like, um, other little doorways that, like, go to different caves and all that stuff. So you want to check that out if you find any. I'm just going to go ahead and light up up a little bit in the area and I'm just gonna grab the rest of this copper and then we're probably gonna go ahead and head out because this might be enough copper to actually start working on upgrading and I think there's actually I wanna say there there's probably better stuff further down obviously just like in Stardew Valley but I really like this place. This is really cool, the, the fact that they actually have this set up. Now, I could go through and do all that. I don't really want to waste the durability on my hammer. So, I'm just going to quickly show you guys what this escape rope does. A little right click sends you right back outside. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and make our way back and call it a night. So, let's go put our little friend away and make sure you bring water to you. You can see my, my hydration is fairly low. Okay, you're fine there. <laughs> I need to go sleep right now. Because bad things may end up happening if I don't do it. Alright, so we're good. We got a good chunk of copper. Let's go ahead and get us some water. And a little extra for later. There we go. So now I have a bunch of things that i got to work on. Not only do I have to keep up my farm but now I have to keep up a cow and a chicken and soon we'll end up having another chicken to take care of so we are gonna have some work ahead of us and cut out for us very soon eventually I want to say I don't know maybe things will get a lot easier especially with the, uh, the farm because we'll be able to have um, a better watering can so I'm hoping what I can do now is a couple things. I'm going to go ahead and sell these real quick. Or put them in the bin for now. And as well as the junk ore, in which we can go and see that it is taking the junk ore and it'll sell that. I think you can sell the copper too, but we want to hold on to that. So before I go water my farm and do all that stuff, I actually want to make my way to town. 
And I kind of want to talk to you, Wolf. But today's Saturday. And he's closed on Saturday, which is unfortunate. Okay. Well, then. The other person I wouldn't mind talking to is our blacksmith. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, water the farm, take care of the animals, and sleep, do the exact same thing, and then we'll talk to Yulif in the morning after. So I'm going to do that, guys, and we'll be back in just a minute. All right, we're back. Farm is taken care of, and we also got some tomatoes and a little bit of the corn harvested today. Took care of our cow yesterday and today. Chicken as well. So we are set to go. So let's go ahead and sell that. And as you can see, we are back over 20,000 gold again, which is always wonderful to see in my eyes. We're going to go talk to Yulu for real quick. That is our next big, big step that I'm actually looking forward to doing here. So let's go ahead and see. Yuluf, I have the best blueprints around. Of course you do, my friend. And there it is. Look at those. I think these are like the last five places. You can see the church, 20,000 gold. The cafe is going to cost us 16,000. So we're going to have to be doing some work and getting some stuff and uh, some things to get some more gold, some more wood. Uh, stone, I think I'll probably be okay on. But we can start working on getting the fishing hunt and the town hall for 32 thousand gold my gosh but this is the next big one that i want the cafe so that is what we're going to get next but i'll try to get uh, some more of that stuff set up and ready for us and by the next episode so hopefully we'll be able to get there and uh, make sure we get a plenty of gold so i do want to also check let's talk to our blacksmith friend real quick before we uh call it a day i do believe he is friday to wednesday Wow, you have the worst hours ever, you know that? I don't like your hours. I'm always happy to sell you some fine tools. Oh, you're actually open? Okay. So, there's that. So, what if we right-click on them with this? Always happy to sell you some fine tools. What about this? Come on and come all. Come see my wares. So, how the heck do I get you to... If you're ever stuck deep down in the mine, just use an escape rope to get out. I appreciate that. Um, dang. I'm not sure what I need to do to have him upgrade my tools. I thought we just right-clicked on him with a tool. But maybe we haven't unlocked the ability to actually get our tools upgraded just yet. Unless I'm missing something in here, which I don't think I am. Yeah, I think it's something else that you have to do like when you like click on him. Or something. I thought you had to click on them with like the watering can or the tool that was ready to upgrade. You can tell we're at 100% on that. So, yeah, I'm not sure. We'll have to keep moving along and keep doing certain things. It may unlock a little bit later. But with that all being said, guys, I think that's about it for today. So I'm just going to go ahead and say thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode of Farming Valley. If you guys did, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps me out. Let's me know you guys are still enjoying the series. Check out some of those awesome links down below in the description. Some really nice stuff down there. Um, and yeah, maybe we'll come up with some names for our, our animals. Maybe you guys can help me out with that. That would not be the worst thing, I think. So yeah, if you guys have some of those, put them down in the comments below. If you guys want to leave some helpful tips, tricks, or comments, I mean, yeah, that too. <laughs> if you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. And... I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, goodbye.